my youtubers i'm back on with another video short one and be a diy wall key holder what you will need is one wall shelf from dollar tree a picture frame a four by six picture frame and removable hooks that's from dollar tree as well flowers this is from dollar tree and this one's from walmart but once again you can use your own flowers i also got a a wooden letter i got this from walmart and i painted white and I'm gonna use this today. This is optional, guys. You don't have to use that. That's all you need right now. So let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, you are going to need to paint your wall shelf and you're gonna paint it whatever color you want to paint it. I paint mine white. And then you are going to need also scrapbooking paper. And I'm gonna show you exactly what to use the scrapbook paper for. So you're gonna need a eight inch by four inch scrapbooking paper. Let's go ahead and score this. On the eight inch section, you're gonna score at one inch, then at seven inch. And then you're gonna rotate it, and then you're gonna score at another one inch, okay? This is gonna be, let me show you one that I already made, guys. This is how it looks. And it looks like this, let me turn it this way. If you can. This is what the scrapbooking paper is gonna be. It's gonna be our basket to hold our flowers in. And it's an easy project, but it's so beautiful. You finished scoring and everything, guys. We're gonna cut in the corner here, these two corners. Like that. And then you're just gonna cut this piece off here. And you can just fold those corner lines. And once you've done that, you're gonna be getting some fabric. Spray it. I should look like that. To finish with that. So we already have our board all painted and sprayed, and then we have our fabric all set picture frame this one has words on it this one i'm going to put the family photo inside of this one just to change it up a little bit if anyone wants to do this style i literally um cut out scrapbooking paper and put inside of the frame and then i put words on top of that scrapbooking paper words here it's clear vinyl that's what i did for that if you want that but this one here i'm going to be doing the family photos in here just go ahead and put your stuff in the frame and then we get to the next step. I have my picture in there. And then what we're gonna do is take this stuff off so we can glue it down to the board. All right, let's go ahead and glue this in place. This is gonna be our basket to go right here. And that's what this is for. And so before we even do that, let's go ahead and we have to cut this area right here. Just cut straight at the top of the scoring line. Do not go over it. And just like a half an inch, I would say, each, each of them a half an inch. Okay, and now it's gonna look like that because it helps it to curve it a little bit better, like that. Two inch from the bottom, we're gonna place this. These two corners here, we're gonna be gluing. For this now, the bottom here, we are going to be getting scrapbooking paper and we're gonna lay this up on the bottom of this and we're just gonna trace it. Right. And then it should look like that. I'm gonna cut that out. It's gonna be in the bottom. And then we're gonna put it like that. Now, once you finish putting some fabric on the bottom of the basket, guys, this is how it should look. So let's go ahead and glue that in place. Now it should look like that. We're gonna go ahead and put our hooks at the bottom here. Glue it on there and put our flowers in here. And then afterwards, that's it. You can decorate this how you want it to be. All 
I put the uh, letter up and then I put a sticker butterfly right here and then another sticker that says beautiful memories right there. This is how it looks guys. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that simple and easy. And this is the other one. Let me get a close up of it. Gorgeous. I love it. I love the way it turned out. And yes. So that's it for tutorial, guys. Comment below and let me know what you guys think as well. And you will definitely see me in my next video. I ran into this.